the underground. You guys. Sorry, that was loud. I was confused. All good. Do your business. Let me start over. Coming to the stage, a very funny person. You're going to like him a lot. Big round of applause, please, for James Milton. Hey. Remember me? I saved the show. Remember that? I got the other microphone? Yeah. So, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, I think we're good here. This is like the shortest one we got, the cord here. Not sure what this business is here. It's an old shoelace we got rigging the place together. Let's untie that and see what happens, everybody, shall we? Are you wearing, everyone wear a heart, put on your heart hats? Hold on. Oh, shit. That wasn't, that wasn't the intended effect. All right, nothing collapsed, so I don't think we need this. All right. Uh, I am not a licensed electrician, by the way. I just thought I'd give it a give it a gander. Good, good deal. Well, I'm excited to be here. As you can tell, I just joined the Dollar Shave Club and got carried the fuck away. <laughs> don't do meth and buy a four blade razor. That's my advice. I was uh, at a show like this last week, and after the show, I got invited to a house party. Uh, which basically turned into like seven of us smoking out of a huge three-foot-tall bong. The next day I woke up with a sore throat. And that's when I realized, sharing a bong with seven people and waking up with a sore throat is the poor man's flu shot. <laughs> <laughs> Building up some antibodies, that was a good way to go. That's my healthcare plan. I realized recently that I'm worth more as a human being parted out than I am whole. Shit. Because uh, here's the deal. I bought seven hundred dollars in the bank. Okay, but my kidneys are worth hundred and fifty thousand dollars each on the Chinese black market. Which begs the question: Do I need both kidneys, or do I need a bowling alley? <laughs> I've got options. Welcome back to the show, sir. Thank you. <laughs> that was a very civil exchange we just had. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, ma'am. <laughs> that was her. She was cooler than you, but but you were, uh, you know, you're like the boss. She's like the cool chick. <laughs> I'm like, you know, the bald guy, wasting everyone's time. I think, just waiting to laugh. Excellent. What's that? Standing by. Standing by. Yeah, well, you know, get comfortable. It might be a while. So. <laughs> Why is your shirt ripped? You never actually explained that. Well, I forget. You forget. <laughs> you have no idea. You, you're wearing a shirt that's ripped and you have no idea how it happened. I'm an active person. It could happen all the time. <laughs> you're an active person. Well, well said. That was, you know, I can't argue with that. I can't understand. Wait, wait, slow down, slow down. You said what? You fast forwarded? I am fashion forward, but I'm not neurotic. And then all of a sudden, you're fat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're you just. Fashion. All right, hey, no yelling, okay? I'll do the yelling. That's ironic. You have a microphone. See, he was here yesterday, and he said the exact same spot, and we didn't get along then either. I don't know why I thought tonight would be different. <laughs> I'm a slow learner, ladies and gentlemen. I do not pick up on the nature of things. Well, I don't know. We're all here in Pioneer Square. Do you guys like Pioneer Square? No? Who said that? You? You don't like it? Give us a reason. Which one? I don't know. A reason. One of them. It's a little sketchy outside, right? Yeah. Do you feel that? Yeah. It's weird. Sometimes I want to go to the visitor center in Pioneer Square and be like, yeah, where do I go to uh, to feel safe? Is that down here anywhere? Is that, is that part of the deal? Holy shit! They said Bellevue, but I don't feel like catching the bus. So. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Uh, yeah. I do have a plan, though, to make things less sketchy. Are you ready? Here's my plan. I want to start a non-profit organization 
that uh, teaches the homeless folks to become mimes. <laughs> I think that really changed the whole vibe down here, you know? Because right now, you walk around, this guy's like, ah! you're like, oh my god, no, cigarettes, quarters, the use of my cell phone, please! <laughs> Wouldn't be so much better if a guy came up to you and he was like, <laughs> You'd be like, oh my god, these Thursday R rocks are so awesome. Here's a dollar, my friend. Knock yourself out. So that's my plan. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Thanks. Do you always talk that quietly? Yeah? yeah? Okay. <laughs> Trying to meet some new people. Are you the ladies that were at the, uh, what's that called, the Space Needle? Yeah. <laughs> Is everyone talking to you about your Space Needle experience? Yeah. Are you tired of it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here I go, everyone. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Did you like it? I've heard it's expensive. Is that, is that the case? Yeah, and then you get up there and there's like a restaurant and uh, a view, I presume? Yeah. Did you guys eat up there? Mm, yeah, kind of. Like, like, a, <laughs> I mean, like, like an appetizer or yeah. a bag of popcorn? Uh, almonds. Almonds. Mm -hmm. How much were the almonds? Six bucks. Six bucks? Yeah. For like a little little thing of almonds or is it like uh, No, it was good. It was like, it was, it was a good amount. It was a good portion? Yeah. The portions are good at the Space Needle restaurant? Okay. Good deal. What's that, sir? Good portion of nuts. Good portion of nuts. Get your mind out of the gutter back there, okay? You should have said legumes. That way we know you're not being creepy. Yeah. Yeah, that's my feeling exactly. I, uh, I was at a restaurant recently. I went to this... Uh, this like pizza joint, and uh, they were serving uh, cucumber infused table water. Uh. And no one told me that they were doing this, you know. So I took one sip. I was like, I think this glass is dirty. <laughs> or maybe it's one of these trendy new places where they don't do the dishes. Okay, cool. I like it. Five stars. Halfway through our meal, my buddy's girlfriend she noticed there was a huge uh, hair in her food. So she called the waiter over. The waiter's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And I was like, yeah, we're just very concerned. Like, was this a locally sourced hair? Or what's the deal here, ma'am? Have you guys seen this commercial on TV? It's like a co-ed softball game. And uh, this girl on the team, she calls everyone into a huddle. She's like, all right, you guys, let's talk about probiotics. I'm like, what? You're not concerned about the fact that you remain scoreless the great innings of Saturday softball. Instead, you want to chat about yogurt? Okay, cool, let's do it. Because I love yogurt, you guys, it's awesome. Um, my favorite is that fancy Greek yogurt. Have you guys had that stuff? It's really good, but it's kind of expensive, and I can't always afford it. So what I do, I buy the regular yogurt, put it in the fridge, and just forget about it for a couple of weeks. <laughs> exactly. That's a life hack you can use at home. Did you guys hear about this? This is the news. Lawmakers in Tennessee recently passed a law allowing creationism to be taught in science classes. Yay. Well, you know, regardless of how you feel about that, the kids aren't complaining. Because that means science classes are only seven days long now. <laughs> Six, actually. They take Sundays off. <laughs> that was a good joke. Everyone else laughed but you. You laughed on the inside? You laughed a little bit. You were trying too hard? I didn't get that vibe from you. <laughs> What's that? I must be numb. I must be numb? Yeah. Why? Why would I be numb? You didn't get the vibe. Oh, I didn't get the vibe. Vibration. Or you didn't broadcast the single loud enough, my friend. We should fight about it. What do you think? <laughs> He's like, okay, sure, let's do that. I'm kidding. Of course. You want to have a, a rap battle? We're going to do a beatbox? We're going to do a... a you want to have a rap battle? Yeah, sure, man. Um, right now? Or can I prepare first? You challenged me to combat of some sort. Was that I was joking. I was clearly, I was being um, satirical. 
Yeah, it was just for the, the I tried to get a laugh. Um, sometimes I'm unsuccessful, but you know, the, <laughs> I know, I know, it's, it's all about timing, you're right. You want the rap battle. Okay, uh, let's see, what do I got, what do I got, let's see here. Do I want a beat? Um, that's urban for beatbox. I'm, I, you know, I, I'm familiar. I know the term. I know the nomenclature. Okay, that's a good word. I like that. It makes me sound smart. See, you agree. Finally, we're getting along. Uh, let's see. I'll have to think of uh, some rhymes. That's what they're called. Uh, see, I can do it too. And, uh, no, I, I do want to be a rapper. I want to start a podcast. Uh, no one's doing this podcasting, so I'll be, you know, the first guy. And, uh, but it'll be like a freestyle podcast. I'm being serious, and we'll have some beats, and maybe we'll freestyle. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, what else? What's my rap name gonna be? God damn, that's good. Um, <laughs> DJ Sleazy E. Uh, huh? Uh, that's not too bad. 90s cool. It's a 90s reference. What's that? Bald something. Bald something. Okay. <laughs> uh, DJ Bald something. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work, right? I'm actually not bald. I just take a lot of drug tests, you guys. <laughs> Q ball. Uh, um, uh, I got one. I got one. Q ball and MJG. It's oh, yeah. not bad, right? Yeah, we'll play on words. I'm sort of good at that. So yeah, now I got to think of some rhymes. Um, yeah, I got nothing right now. I'm on the spot. So maybe we'll come back next week. Do you guys? Uh, do you guys want to do that next week? We'll do a rap battle. Yeah. You guys come back next week. We'll eat some legumes <laughs> and uh, do a little rapping. All right. <laughs> you sound super pumped about that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I went to a job interview a while back because my rap career wasn't going as well as I thought it would. So I was going to telemarketing. I get in for this interview. There's three of us waiting to go in for the same interview. And uh, the hiring manager, she comes out. She's like, all right, who wants to go first? I was all nervous. I'm like, oh, I want to go. She's like, why don't you rock scissors paper for it? Which I thought was a great idea. You know? I'm, I'm with the HR lady on this. I think rock scissors paper is an excellent way to make decisions when you don't know what to do. It would solve so many arguments in relationships. You know, Like, should we have a baby? <laughs> Fuck. Always go rock on the rocks as her paper, you guys. That's my advice. Do you ladies get hit on a lot? Sure. Sure? Yeah. It's... Are you inviting me? Are you... <laughs> no, they weren't. You cock blockers, stay out of this. Well, here's a trick you can use. This is, what, this is what the ladies use on me when I'm, when I'm talking to them. Just even being platonic, okay, you can bring up a boyfriend, like, way too early in the conversation. That lets me know, okay? Because I'll give you an example. Like, you ever watch Game of Thrones or some old Roman shit where they're like, I am Thaddeus, son of Perseus. That's what women do to me. They're like, I am Kelly, girlfriend of Mark. Like, all right, I get it, you're taken. Are you sleepy? Are you tired? No. No. I, I got the opposite impression. I guess I'm not good at reading people. It's kind of weird, you know, dealing with the whole you know, sobriety thing, you know, because now, since not drinking, not smoking, not anything, it's weird what normal supposedly is. So now I'm just kind of like readjusting. So this is what it's like to not have any substances in your body. And what is that about? That's where you're at. Parachuting down from space. Parachuting down from space. That sounds like something someone who's on drugs would say. 
Ironically so indeed. I have the cleanest piss in this building, yes. Well, we'll talk after the show. Uh, because <laughs> I don't think this comedy is going too well. I might need to re-enter the job market. And uh, if you could uh, kindly supply me with some of your urine, <laughs> I might get that telemarketing gig back. Supply and demand. Supply and demand. Well, it's, it's, it's limited demand. A lot of supply, I, I would assume. <laughs> I'm saying you piss a lot. Did you pick up? <laughs> no, we all do, right? Hopefully so. Hopefully so. Exploding into a piss grenade. Well said. Well said. This. Uh, well, I, you know, because I, I was web up being that myself recently. Uh, I almost exploded into a piss grenade. Help! WebMD's like, you have cancer. I'm like, shit! Always with the cancer, WebMD. Why not a gout? You know, spice it up a little bit. Goiter, you know, something like that. Goiter, that's a good one. I'm gonna add that to my notebook. Goiter, I fucking like that. I'm gonna have to steal that from you. Or appropriate it. I don't know, is that the right terminology? Is that... Trying to semantics, right? Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Sampling. I'll sample it from you. Sample the goiter. Sample the goiter. That's the name of my rap album. <laughs> DJ Cuball and MJG. Sample the goiter. You guys would buy that, right? I'll do a Kickstarter. Go fund me. All right. I shall get out of here. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming out. We have uh, two more super funny comedians. We're going to rock the mic for you. So let me get out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out. I'm glad we were able to fix uh, all of the technical difficulties we've been having here tonight. It was just the one, but it was pretty big, right? For a while there, we were just sitting on stools and shit. Yay, indeed. And that's my time. Thanks. Have a good night. Time for Mr. Milton. James Milton, everybody. <laughs>